Today I'm going to show you a little bit about ASUS Unit Overclocking Utilities Turbo V e Evo. ASUS Turbo V Evo um, has Turbo V and Turbo Key inside there. And if the Turbo V Evo is installed correctly, you should see that little icon on the taskbar. You will find the icons in the Windows notification area. Click on the icon to display the Turbo V control panel. Or you can go to uh, Windows and Startup menu, ASUS, Turbo V Evo, and click on that icon too as well. Here we're at the uh, Turbo V interface menu mode. Inside the menu mode, you can definitely uh, define and pick the profiles that you like to apply to the Turbo keys. Um, inside of the profiles, right now we see three uh, preset profiles. The first one is the performance. So it's preset by the system. The performance profile is 134 BCLK frequencies. And CPU voltage is 1.4. And IMC voltage is 1.2. And DRAM bus voltage is 1.65. OK, so if we click uh, superior, uh, you see the BCLK clock is a little different. Um, it's 137, and CPU voltage is also a little bit different. It's 1.4025. Again, this is the uh, profiles that are pre-made by the system. Okay, we talked about the uh, pre-made profiles by the system. Now we try to adjust a little bit with the B clock manually and save the profiles with a different name. So we apply and save profile and we, switch, we can save profile into different names if we like. For example on this one I put 5.5 five and save. So now it should be saved. So now we can close it, this dialog. And in the drop down menu we have 5.5 five available to pick now. So just apply so the reason for those profile created because we want to go to here turbo key and inside of turbo key we have turbo V remote keys we want to have those profiles applied into these keys A, B, C uh, and so each of those keys can assign one profiles into it the profiles default by the programs and the profile that we created earlier like the 5.5 five, superior and performance, we can assign those keys into those hotkeys on the remote. So we can apply it. Now we have the uh, remote here. If you have the remote come with it, the motherboard, it should look like this. It has three uh, buttons on the top of it, turbo keys A, B, C, also bus B adjustment too. So Okay, one more time. Let's l take a close look of the remote controller. Um, it has three keys on the ABC, as I said. It has a bus B adjustment, up or down, EPU adjustment. You, uh, you can pick the EPU engine you like. Okay, it's time to see this remote control in action. So let me press B. Okay, so turbo key B is on and the bus speed has to be uh, turned on to 137 right now because we set it the turbo key to 137. Press one more time, it's turned off and so it's back to 137. And to make sure that's correct, we can open CPU Z to make sure the bus speed is, is right. So the bus speed right now is 136 because we just turned off turbo B. And let me turn on turbo C, the C key on it. So just turn on the turbo C. Okay, and turbo C also turned off. Now it's back to 136. Turn on again, 140. Now you see uh, 140 in Okay, we have played around with the profile keys. Now, what if I don't want to change voltage, just want the bus B, so I don't want to mess around with the profiles. So I, I can do is change the bus B by pressing the plus sign, a little bit go up, 
go up, go up, and if I want to go down, just go down by pressing the uh, minus key. Easy. In real action. By doing this, you don't have to go out or quit your windows or games, whatever. It's in real action. So let me go out a little bit, go out a little bit. And 139. Let's see if this one's stable. So 139. Let's see my CPU Z. It's also 139. All right, that's pretty cool. Okay, I'm also going to show you the EPU remote on this little remote controllers. The EPU remote, you can remote the mode that you like to set it to your computer at a time that you're playing games or whatever you're doing, some things. You can easy remote the mode that you like to, like for example, power saving modes or turbo modes, high performance modes, whatever mode that you like to adjust it to. Anytime you like, just press the uh, buttons on the menu mode. So now you see that little box, pop up box says uh, max saving mode. Also, the EP remote come with the auto mode. Auto mode will help you to determine the right auto, you know, EPU mode for your computers at a time that you using computer. Okay, let's go back to the interface again. Um, the last one, but not least, we have the easy mode. Easy mode is designed for overclocker that don't have enough experience to play around with other voltage or other settings. So the only setting they can go for this one is BCLK frequencies. So as long as you know which frequency you want to go up to, the system, the programs will do the rest of for you. The CPU voltage will also go up automatically after BCLK frequency adjusted. So the system will help you to determine which voltage is the right voltage for you if you want to overclock it. After adjusting the BCLK frequency, just apply to it.